Hey everyone, Tane here, and I'm here to give you your results and my personal review of WrestleMania Night 2. Let's get into it. So we first kicked off the show with the New Day, consisting of Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston, taking on the team of Sheamus and Rich Holland with Butch at ringside. Um, Rich Holland and Sheamus got the win. Don't know how they did it. And with a little tribute to Big E from Xavier Woods, that was pretty nice. So yeah, I I enjoyed that match. It was pretty fun. I didn't watch it obviously because I was at school, but it was pretty fun either way. Next we had we had the match between Johnny Knoxville and Johnny Knoxville and Sami Zayn. It was pretty funny. It was anything goes. Wee Man got an appearance and attacked Sami Zayn, which is pretty cool. And Johnny Knoxville scores it. He gets the W at WrestleMania. So I want to see him do some more funny matches. Maybe at some time he gets like a match against maybe Austin Theory. I don't know, but we'll see. After that, we had Edge vs. AJ Styles the literal dream match. Hell yeah. Edge came out with a pretty scary entrance. I want to like kind of an Undertaker style. And Edge, AJ came out as his original self, the phenomenal one. This match was fun as hell, I would admit. Um, Edge and AJ got to change finishes. But then, as AJ was about to hit the phenomenal form, Damian Priest came out and gave AJ a little scare, giving Edge the opportunity to catch AJ with a spear. spear. One, two, three, and Edge wins and has a little celebration with Damian Priest. Are we going to see a tag team with Damian Priest and Edge? Maybe the Rated R Priests? I don't know, or the Rated R Demons, I don't know, but we're going to have to wait and see what they do next. After that, we had Pat McAfee versus Austin Theory with, yeah, it was pretty pretty fun, but pretty boring at the same time. Pat McAfee wins as per usual, but then after the match, Vince McMahon came out, the literal owner of WWE himself came out and set up a match against him and Pat McAfee, and with assist from Austin Theory, Vince McMahon won. But not until Stone Cold Steve Austin came out and said, Yo, what up? And then gives Vince a beer and bang, stunner. Gives good old Vinny Man a stunner. Vince tries to run away, but he catches him in the end. Then Austin tries to go for the attack on, on Steve, but again, another stunner. And Austin stuns Austin, I guess. Then Pat and Steve Austin celebrate, but as usual, never trust a Texas rattlesnake. And a third one was delivered to Pat McAfee, and that's it. So called celebrating into the night leaves Texas a match winner and a rattlesnake, as you would say. After that, we had the women's tag team title match between between Sasha Banks, Naomi, Rhea Whippy, Liv Morgan, Queen's Lena. Carmella and Natalia and Shayna Baszler. This match was fun for what it was, and Sasha breaks her um, WrestleMania losing streak with getting a win finally. And with the name on her side, they are the tag team champions. I hope they continue this reign until either SummerSlam or next year's WrestleMania. But we'll have to wait and see. And then, main event time Brock, Roman, Tiny Unification match, winner take all. <sighs> I'm not happy with the result, but I want to say Roman Reigns is now a double champion, soon to be unified champion. So I'm going to say right now, I'm going to have to acknowledge that Roman is the head of the table. He is literally the head of WWE. So, yeah. Who is going to take it off him? I've only got two people in mind. One is Cody Rhodes, if, Cody, if WWE, WWE decide to push him to the limit. And if they don't want to unify the titles and just have Roman with two belts, or two, The Rock, if The Rock decides to pretend. Hopefully he does, and puts Roman in his place and shows that Rock is true at the table. But there you go, that is WrestleMania done. My top two favorite matches from each night. So from night one, and from night one my two favorite matches were Bianca Belair and Becky Lynch and Cody Rhodes versus Seth Rollins. And from night two... Gonna hand it to Johnny Knoxville, Sami Zayn, and the women's tag team Fedor Four Way. That was pretty cool. And there you go, WrestleMania is officially over, and now we just see what's next. So that's, and this has been Tane with the WrestleMania review. Peace out.